I'm Frederick Orkesson, and I play guitar in Opeth. I'm Michael Orkefeldt. I play guitar and sing in Opeth. I think it's in the fingers. I don't think any guitar or any pedal or any amp can uh, make you sound uh, much better if you don't have it in, in, in the fingers. That's my opinion. Um, good strings. Good, I mean, good, good equipment, of course, but I think it's generally in the fingers. Uh, try to practice. Uh, try to not stagnate. To develop, depend on your own bag of old bag of tricks. There's always new stuff to learn. There's always some way you can become a better guitarist. It's endless, uh, which just makes it also fun. I think. Uh, try to inspire by different musicians than the in the, within the metal community. So I think it's important. Rhythm, guitar. I mean, it's, it's important that, that you have a good sense of rhythm and timing and that type of stuff. Um, that's, I think, I have. But when it comes to lead, I can't play fast and have pretty bad technique and all that stuff. But when it comes to my tone, uh, of course, I've been emulating it from other guitar players that I admire. But generally, I think uh, as a, 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 a vocalist, in a way, if I hit one note and I'm supposed to hold it for a while. I want it to be straight in the beginning and gradually the, the vibrato comes in. Like a, a vocal, like a, a singer, basically. Like Scott Walker, for instance, who is my, one of my favorite singers. Uh, and that has become my... I, I don't either like to rush things. I, I, I like the slow tones, the, the kind of uh, more emotional type of, of playing uh, before shredding. But with that said, I do like shredding too. But it's just that I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you do a bit of shredding. Oh, some, some, some cheap, cheap things I've learned. <laughs> First of all, I have to say Pink Floyd, early night in the, the, the pulse. Pink Floyd? Pink Floyd? Pink Floyd, I mean. I'm tired, I haven't had four hours sleep. You said Pink Floyd. Okay. Just, uh, messing with <laughs> That was amazing, you know, but uh, recently one show I saw talking about guitar playing that was, uh, you were also at that gig actually, that was mind blown was when I went to see Jeff Beck play. I don't, don't remember being there. I think you went with somebody else. Okay. You've been unfaithful. <laughs> well, yeah. And uh, well, the other night we saw Merciful Fate for a long time. At Sweden Rock, and that was also a great experience. I think lovely, lovely, great concert. show, great uh, band, mm. classic band, you know, yeah. and great guitar playing from Mike Weed and there also, of course Hank Sherm. King was a really on form too. I can sing. It was sing was flawless. Costumes, even I, I, I don't really care about costumes, but that looked cool. Well, it would have been all of them from my uh, youth or childhood, basically. Uh, the, the, especially lead guitar players. I wanted to be a lead guitar player. So uh, the Scorpions guys, Matthias Jobs and Uli Roth. The Maiden guys, Dave and Adrian. Ingve, of course. Um, Priest, Tipton and Downing. Uh, all those guys, you know, and eventually I, when I got into more and more extreme for I don't remember Mille Petrosa was a big, he was more a rhythm player, he did occasional solo, but uh, they were all inspiring to me and still are, I think. Richie Blackmore is my hero, but not just because of his playing, I like his mood, mood and mood swings. I think he's, I think he seems like a really, really funny guy, which I don't think a lot of people say about him. But I think he's he's got a very very good sense of humor, very good sense. So he's my idol. He's a bit intimidating, of course, but uh, those guys were, uh, inspired me. And I still get inspired by great guitar players. Just that now there's so many great guitar players in bands on like YouTube and stuff like that. Home guitar players who are great, technically advanced, and all that stuff. Um, but so it's kind of hard for me. I kind of tend to stick with those older guys for some reason. Um, but I mean, there's great many great guitar players out there. Most all of them better better than 
than me, you know, like it's just, that's what I, Andy Latimer was big from Camo, he was a big, big guy for me. Uh, Gilmore, of course, those guys, broke guys. Steve Hackett, I always liked Steve Hackett. Robert Fripp, shit loads. Frederick, big, a bit like, when I saw him play the first time, I was like, oh my God, how do you play like that? Who the hell does he do it? Who the hell does he do it? Thank you, Michael. I would choose a, a echo pedal. Yes. Because the echo can be adapted to leads, clean playing and everything, depending how we set the, the time, etc. It's very adaptable.